This week's blogging video is about surprising unpopular blogging opinions I have. And I tend to go against the curve on some of the things that I do in the blogging world. And I always think it's interesting to hear other people's unpopular opinions. So I thought this would be a really fun video. A little background before I get into it. I'll keep this down to like 15 seconds. I started by Sophia Lee, which is a blog back when I was 19 years old. I was going into my sophomore year of college. I was dirt broke and I have built it up into a seven figure business. Um, and so I think that just with everything that I have learned through so many mistakes and I just love listening to other people's success in blogging, I think we can all learn so much from it. I love to create these videos and give you a little insight onto some of the unpopular blogging opinions I have. First unpopular opinion is that I think that you should get on no social medias besides Pinterest. That's what I did and I truly don't believe that I would have a blog right now if I would have gotten on all of the different social medias like Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, oh my gosh, like it would have been way too much and I would have gotten overwhelmed and I would have given up. And I think that's a common issue that a lot of bloggers run into is that they just go so hard right away and there's so much to learn. Like it is so complicated that just stick to the basics and the only social media platform that will really work for you in the beginning is Pinterest. So definitely get on Pinterest, but my opinion is, is that you shouldn't really be getting on any of the other social medias. Second unpopular opinion, and this one I so strongly believe in, and if you've heard my other videos, you've known I, I say this all the time. No one cares about you. Don't write about yourself in the beginning. They literally do not care about you at all. They only care about themselves. One of my like quotes that I repeat in my head over and over and over again is, no one cares about you. They only care about themselves. And that is so true when it comes to blogging. Like when you're just starting your blog and you don't have a following at all and people don't really know you, no one's gonna wanna read about your life. Like they just don't care. And so that goes like for the about page. Like don't spend a lot of time on your about page because no one really cares about you. Eventually, as you grow your blog bigger and bigger, then people start getting more interested in your life and they wanna hear your personal recommendations and more about you. But it takes a really, really long time to get to that. Like I am still working up that way, I feel like, where people like are somewhat interested in my life. But for the first like four or five years, like the only thing that people cared about was themselves. And because I geared my blog so much to other people, I think that's another reason why I was able to grow a lot faster because there was so many helpful resources for the reader, whereas it wasn't like just about me. Third, okay, this is kind of a hot take because everyone says to not do this. And I think that, well, let me explain, okay. Third take is it's okay to start a blog to make money. Like so many people are, I always hear like, you're not gonna be successful if you start a business just to make money, which is, true in the fact that like money the blogging game is such a slow game like it is not i think people think that it happens like overnight and it's such an easy way to make money it is not at all and so you absolutely need to have passion in what you're writing about because you're gonna give up before you actually even start making money but i think it's completely okay to start a blog with the hopes of making money like why not and you're spending so much time on it that it turns into more than a hobby. Like in the beginning, it's a hobby because it's fun, but as you are spending literally all your free time on it, it becomes a job and it's not a hobby anymore. And for any job you should be getting paid with. And so um, my personal opinion is that it is totally okay to start a blog in hopes of making money. You just have to choose something that you're passionate about because you will be writing so much on it and you will be talking and thinking about it so much that if it's not the topic that or niche that you choose for your blog is not something that you're passionate about you won't last next unpopular opinion okay so i have blogging courses and when you buy one of the blogging courses you get into like a private facebook group and i see people post in the private facebook group all the time on being like, what do you do for indexing? How does Sophia do indexing? Um, 
I'm focusing on indexing. I truly, maybe I should be embarrassed to say this. I don't know. I don't even know what indexing is. Like I have never ever focused on indexing. I don't know really what it is. I have no knowledge on it. It's just not something that I've been focused on and I have been pretty successful. So I don't think that it's as important as people make it out to be. Like I really don't think it's important as all and at all. And as long as you're focusing on like SEO techniques, I think that that directly affects indexing. So as long as you're focusing on that, then the indexing will come. I'd be interested to hear other bloggers opinions on that because maybe I'm totally wrong on that one, but I personally have just never focused on indexing and don't fully understand why people like freak out so much about indexing. Next one, you will probably, highly probably not make any money the first year of blogging at all. Like I said, it's a slow game. It's not a fast game. I don't think the first year of blogging, you should be doing anything that won't eventually make you money. So like the first year of blogging, I always thought about ROI, 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 return on investment is what I'm doing right now going to eventually be a return on my investment. And at the time my investment was my time or even like getting hosting, being on a WordPress website, getting the website theme. Like those were all things that I knew eventually I would be able to make money off of. Back to the about page. Were, was I gonna make money on my about page? No, probably not. So I spent maybe 15 minutes putting my about page together. Um, would I end up making money by taking courses? Yes, I could make a lot more money by learning someone's strategy in a week versus me trying to figure it out for eight months. And that is like a way better use of my money than me going and buying a plugin I don't really actually need. You know, like little things like, like that. So I believe that the first year blogging should be insanely strict about what tasks you're doing and what you're focusing on. Next one is so important. I don't really know if it's an unpopular opinion, but I know people don't do it. So you need to do it. Have your eggs in different baskets. I cannot repeat it enough. Have your eggs in different baskets because there are so there's only a certain amount of things that we actually have control on for your blog social media the algorithm you don't have control over um affiliates you don't have control over they can slash it in a day you know like you have to really have your eggs in different baskets so if something wants to get slashed your business will be able to survive amazon i always give this example they slash their affiliate rates all the time. And back in 2020, they slashed all their affiliates by 50, their affiliate commissions by 50%. Well, the people that survived off of their Amazon affiliates alone were absolutely screwed. Like they just lost half of what they would serve, like they were surviving on. Um, so I'm always so grateful in moments like that, that our eggs are in different baskets and yours should be too. So that even though it is like stressful and a big bummer, it doesn't cost you your entire blog or business. And lastly, my, this is a big unpopular opinion. I do not think that you should be buying Pinterest ads, promoting your pins, buying Instagram ads, Facebook ads, anything for your blog posts. A product, completely different story. That's totally different, like our planners, even our blogging courses like that I could see us doing ads for but your blog posts no I highly don't think you should be doing that and this is my reasoning for that and maybe I'm insane for saying this or even thinking this but on Pinterest and on Instagram or whatever it doesn't really matter I'm concerned that if you start giving them money they're gonna show you they're gonna show your stuff to everyone so you are gonna get the influx on visitors and views that's gonna give you adrenaline because you're gonna want to keep doing it and want to keep doing it and then you're like okay no like i'm stopping the ads or i tested this out i'm not going to do this anymore and then they don't show your stuff anymore at all because they know that you're going to get so addicted to people seeing your things that you're going to keep paying for it and paying for it and paying for it and they're just trying to make money so obviously they're going to try to have you continue making money or have them continue making money any way possible 
you get what I'm saying. Like they're going, like that's why I just personally don't do any ads and I'm really, really specific with how we do ads because I'm so worried that the social media or whatever we're doing the ads on is then gonna abuse the system and only show ourselves if we continue paying and you're not gonna wanna continue paying for years and years and years. So those are my unpopular blogging opinions. I'm curious if you have any unpopular blogging opinions or if you do not agree with some of my unpopular blogging opinions. I always love to hear what people disagree on because I think there's a lot of learning that can be done with that. Like the indexing, maybe I'm totally off on that one. Maybe I should be focusing on it. Maybe we could grow a lot by focusing on it. So who knows, but I hope you enjoyed this week's blogging video and make sure to check out our courses. We'll have them all linked down below. Um, if you're looking to start a blog, I have a whole entire page like blog post going out through every single step on exactly what I did. I was really, really strategic with how I started my blog, the platforms I started my blog on, etc. And I'm really, there's so many things that I look back and I'm like, why did you do that? Why did you do this? But how I started my blog and how I got it running is one of the things that I think I did really smartly. Smartly, even though I don't even know. Okay, make sure to subscribe and I will see you at next week's vlogging video.